My goals is to uh, win as many championships and try and actually get close to McGrath's race wins. That's the big one. No rider in the 50 year history has ever won on debut. Jed Lawrence has now. He's making a statement to these guys. He's here for real. He sweeps the triple crowd and wins his third straight. Just to let you know, 21 points, that's where you're at. Oh, nice situation I've been dealt with this year with leading the points for most of it and, and getting a good points lead. I think at that you got to look at that as like oh it's it was here but then and then it's and you lost it so I mean um if we don't win it is a bit of a disappointment. Don't let the world beat you down the best is yet to come around. Jeff has rookie things that he has to go through Hunter had things he had to go through and no matter what, you can never tell them why. Yeah, it's a neon sign on the side of the track that's going to tell you this is going to happen. You have to go through that process. There is no dodging it. And you just have to hopefully manage it. You know, there's some hate with the fans. They love to hate him. Jet Lawrence, back on top! But you have to respect the guy's talent. And uh, he's, he's been through some bumps and bruises uh, these last few weeks. But what's going to happen is if he's able to learn from those mistakes, it's just going to make him that much better. I mean, all the greats have been booed in the past. I've heard, we've heard stories from Ricky's tummy, how many times he's been booed. So, I mean, for me, it is what it is. It's frustrating more as a parent when you know they're booing for things that aren't even the real truth, but they line up every week and they put that helmet on and they go to work. They threw everything they had at him, and he has conquered them. Like I said, we came in for business. It is the 20-year-old who is on the verge of changing the game. I mean, this guy is definitely a threat. He is the future of the sport. He's performing when he needs to perform. And that's what you have to do to be one of the greats. It literally does not get any closer than this. Two riders tied atop the standings. You know that pressure, I feel like uh, nowadays I like, I like that a bit more. Three weeks ago, 21 points out front. Then Coop evened it up. But they're all starting to talk about how good, or really I should say great he is. They know that it's going to be tough to stop him for this championship. Pressure clicks me into a different gear and really kind of gets you in a different mind frame than you normally do in competition. So um, I definitely sound a lot better than when I started, so yeah. He's the better one right now and I'm looking at him to learn things off of him and then in the real world I obviously feel even more of a big brother role. I feel like responsibility as every big brother should. Probably um, the one that comes to the top of my mind is at St. Louis when Barsha was coming up to him to talk. 180 corner. Is his brother ahead of him? Oh, oh my goodness oh, me. Massive T-bone. He's going to be lucky if nothing's wrong with him. I just said, whatever you want to get, just hold your composure. Don't give the media what they want. Hunter has either lived that situation or knows the right way to kind of explain it to me. Hunter's really mature and breaks things down and explains them good, so I'm pumped that, uh, that they can go to each other, you know. When you think of the things you really have in life and, and guarantees, there's nothing really guaranteed except the fact that, you know, we'll always be there for each other. It's the Lawrence brothers, one and two. The older brother, Hunter, over Jet. There is no way he's going to pass his brother. Wow. Well, he's made me eat my words. It'll be Jet Lawrence's eighth win this year. Jet Lawrence wins in Denver. His brother follows him home in second. I was screaming in my helmet the first lap when it was him and I out front. I was so pumped. Unreal. I didn't. I think there was history for brothers going one two. So uh, yeah, I'll get that win soon enough. Our whole journey's been you learn to adapt to the circumstances around you, whether it be what they went through in Europe to what they went through when we first got here to Hunter's injuries. It's an ever evolving journey. The championships starting to become a reality. He has risen to the occasion over and over and over again. As much as we're proud as punch of everything they've achieved on the bike, we, we get the same feeling when you get stopped by random people telling us how amazing our kids are as a person and how they talk to their little kid when they were just walking past them in the street. Just things of them and their character more so than what they actually do on a bike. For me now, I mean, it's going to be obviously an awesome feeling, but I don't try and think about it too much because, yeah, you don't want to think of that feeling and what's going to feel like and then not get there. So, I mean, if we get there, it's awesome. If not, we don't. So, you know, I don't think about it too much. 
Here's your chance. Go on and take it. Hi, folks. Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.